it's Kelly, the embroidery nurse. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to be unboxing. Bum, ba, da, bum. This is the Ricoma heat press. I have been dying to have a heat press. You guys, I really don't have anything other than embroidery machines. Now, I've got several of them for sure, the Ricoma and a couple of baby locks. Sewing machine, serger. I really stick to only embroidery. But when I was trying to think, how can I level up my business? What is the next piece of equipment that I feel like would really take me to the next level? This right here. You guys, I'm so excited. This is an amazing heat press. I've been doing research on it so that I know what my possibilities are and they truly seem endless. Like seriously, you guys, the reason I have had this for a while is because honestly, I have been nervous about the amount of business that I will start having, different types of business that I'll start having once I showcase this and start doing items. So let's get to opening it. I'm gonna tell you all the details about it and then I'm gonna tell you what my plans are and how I'm gonna incorporate this into my already growing business. So this right here, you can see on the side of the box if you can read that far away, I had to get the camera far away because it's such a big box. This is Rakoma's HP 1515 FT heat press. It's an auto open flat heat press with an intuitive five inch touch screen and a slide out platen. So it's called the 1515 because it is 15 by 15 inch. So it is gonna be perfect size when I've done my research for doing all kinds of different products specifically shirts and things like that that I know I'll be doing down the road. All right, so let's get to it. I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna put all the pieces, or hopefully, hopefully it's just one piece, um, up here on my table. My husband is waiting to help me get this up there if need be, because I do know that it's kinda heavy because it is so industrial and amazing. It's, it's not <laughs> for the faint of heart, honestly. This is a big box. I'm a little intimidated, but together we're gonna learn all about it. I have never owned a heat press. I have never turned a heat press on, but everything that I've read about this particular one, I've been watching videos, everything that I've read really, really, really makes me feel comfortable with the fact that this is it's for beginners, but it's also for people that are advanced with their techniques with heat press. So I'm super excited and I can't wait to learn together and just show you all the new possibilities of things that we can do. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open up. All right, so first things first in here on the top, there is a just information pamphlet that's gonna tell us a little bit more about the machine, so that'll be good to go over. And then, of course, our plug-in cords, big piece of styrofoam. Let's see if I can get that out just by lifting straight up. Look at that. I don't see anything attached. So yes, this looks like one big just already put together, which is exciting because I certainly didn't want to have to put anything together because that's when I get a little nervous. So I am going to call in my reinforcements and have my husband bring, um, come down and put this up here and we're gonna go over it. I'm gonna show you all the cool features. So we're gonna put it up on the table. My husband's gonna help. Or actually he's just gonna do it. <laughs> I don't know the best way to lift it, but just, and I want you to put it on that. Right there. So I don't know, okay, perfect, oh it's not as like huge as I thought that box was making it look, looks like it comes off this way, oh yeah it's so not, it's not as big, which is good. Perfect. All right, thank you. This is how you 
not okay. to have an electrical outlet. Okay, so my husband helped me get it up onto the table. Honestly, I am super stoked. That box was so big that I was like, where is this going to fit in my craft room? Like, I've got space, but I knew I was going to have to rearrange. But honestly, you guys, this is so much slimmer than I ever would have imagined. I've got so much opportunity for places to put this now. I thought I was going to literally have to put an extension table in here, but this is perfect. It is so much small. The box was deceiving, right? The box made it look like I was going to have to like build on, but this is awesome. Now it is 95 pounds if I haven't already said that, um, but you know what? That just lets you know that it's you know made for durability, that it's not made out of cheap materials. So it does promote itself as being, you know, powerful steel and aluminum. So that is awesome. Um, I do have some notes here. Um, just so I don't forget. Etsy sale. Just so I don't. Another Etsy sale. Uh, that's exciting back to back. Um, I don't want to forget any like key elements to this. So I'm going to kind of look over my notes and make sure we do like cover everything because there's so much to this, right? So this is the 15 by 15, um, which is the size of the plate here, right? There's also a Rakoma 16 by 20. So they do differ in price only by like $100. So you figure out which one is going to work best for you. There's so many different like Black Friday things to look at and a lot of end of the year um, sales and promotions that possibly include free shipping or add-ons. So I want you to click on the link below that you can learn more about Rakoma's heat presses and really all of the new devices that they're adding. All the new toys are really what I call them, but there's a lot of deals going on right now. So you guys, this is the time and I cannot wait for all the things that I'm going to make. So what really has my husband more excited than anyone is the fact that we have three boys, three boys that play every sport known to man. And so this right here to him just screams cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching when it comes to putting um, shirts out for teams or adding things to bags. Super excited about all the possibilities. Okay, so it's a high pressure clamshell style heat press. And like we said, this is the 15 by 15. It has a really powerful clamp. And what, what is good about that is it's gonna ensure the pressure is even across everything that you put on there. So that, that's really important to have you know, good pressure when it comes to a uh, um, heat press. Um, it does have an auto release. And so that's a lot different than some that I've researched. So the auto release is very cool. So you set the time and it opens up itself when, it, when the time runs out. Um, it, it really can help you like multitask. So if I'm working over here, I can set this, turn over and do this and this, I'm not going to forget. And you guys, I'm pretty forgetful. So I'm not going to forget. It will open up on its own. So that's a huge, for me, feature. It does have a slide out platen. So that's really cool because that's going to really, for, again, for me, who's prone to accidents and injuries, um, the fact that you can slide this platen out it's really going to prevent, you know, my arms or hands being so far underneath the heat because it's hot, right? Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. I really do love that safety feature. So not only will I be able to do things for my kids' sports, there's so many different, like, applications that you can use a heat press with. And uh, most of them I've never attempted before. So I'm excited to learn, you know, all about different types of... Um, applications that you can use with this. So you can certainly, you know, like we said, do um, digitally printed items. You can do screen printed transfers, which is what I probably will be sticking with. Um, heat transfer vinyl, of course, you can use that with heat press. Um, sublimation, you use your heat press for that. Also, direct to garment transfers. Um, those are all going to be things that you can use your heat press for, right? What I intend on using it for moving forward, the very first thing at least, will be the... Um, screen printed transfers. I've already um, joined Transfer Express and I can't wait to teach you a little bit about that because that just gives me chills. So we'll go over that and I'll do a whole nother video on just how cool that is and what we can do with this amazing heat press together. So this has a quick heating plate. It heats up to 437 degrees Fahrenheit. What? That's insane. 
Okay, so the touch screen is pretty awesome. And we're gonna turn it on just a minute and learn about it all together. But what I love, for one, that it is a touch screen. It's a five inch display. And my favorite thing, of course, this is where we're gonna you know, pick our time and our temperature. But what I love is that it actually keeps up with project settings. Like what? So you can go in here and program, if you do something over and over and over and over the same all the time that requires the same heat and the same time, then you can literally press that project. The machine will keep that information in here so you don't have to keep programming that. And don't forget, auto open. What? Awesome. Okay, so on here, there's gonna be a timer countdown so you can kind of do what you gotta do. It's gonna pop up when you're done. It does have date and time. You can do Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'm a Fahrenheit girl. Celsius still kind of throws me for a loop. Awesome, another feature, you can view your statistics after you know a long day's work. You can actually go in here and it will give you statistics on what you've done. And that can really be a game changer for helping you determine how much to price your items. How long is it taking you to do certain things? You can look in the statistics and you can determine, all right, that should probably cost a little more than that based on the statistics that it keeps for you and the logs that it keeps for you. That is pretty cool. Okay, so now let's turn it on. Eee! Okay, so it's got a button on the side. That's how you turn it on. And we're gonna see our screen right here. Right now it says Racoma. And it, are, I mean, it's already 13, 14, 15, 16, 19. It's telling you really quickly what the current temperature is. Well, I guess it just brought you up to what regular room temperature is. Um, Cause it, it's in Celsius right now. Remember I just told you I am not a Celsius girl. I'm gonna hit that settings button and I'm gonna, first thing that I'm gonna go to is temperature and I'm gonna change it to Fahrenheit. Done, that's what. You can change the language. I only speak English. We'll keep it at that. How many does it have? Looks like it's got a list, Spanish, Chinese. We're gonna keep it in English. Date and time, this is when I can set it because right now it says it's 2017. Oh, what we didn't know back then. Whew. All right, so we're gonna change that. Um, so we can um, change that setting in here. Oh, you just scroll. Okay, that's simple. So we're gonna do, it's the 11th month. It is the 23rd day. Well, that's simple. I do love a touch screen. And let's bring it to 2021. And then we can actually put our time in here and we can change it from a.m. to p.m. Let's see. Right now, it is 7.02 p.m. So we're gonna scroll up, 7.02 p.m. Done, save, parameters. This is when you can, where you can save current parameters, you can set up new parameters, you can check your parameters list. So this is where you can name it, put the temperature and the timer. So this is where you can set your parameters for different projects, that is awesome. All right, let's see. I don't know about parameters yet, so I don't really have anything to set, but when we do our first project together, we'll go into more detail about different things that need different heat and, and what you need for those. Most of the transfers that I will be getting will tell me with, when the transfer arrives, what temperature and for how long. So that's super cool. All right, let's see. There's the production statistics. It will tell you your daily production. It can actually go into more detail and tell you exactly how many pieces you did by the hour, which is super cool. So if you know from like seven to nine o'clock in the morning, you worked on you know, a certain company's projects, you can actually go back in here and it will tell you how many you did per hour, which is super cool. Um, you can also go into detailed history and it can tell you on a particular day how many pieces you did. So it's really neat to like just give you that information so that you can really keep up with your business. That right there is the difference in a hobby heat press and one that I feel like can really level you up business wise. Super cool to have that. All right, let's see. So we language, date and time, parameters, temperature, and pro uh, production statistics. That's awesome. That's all in the settings. So we can see right now my date and time are correct up here because we just changed that. The current temperature of this is 96 degrees. So you can see it's bumping up there. Um, the target temp, what it's set on to go on to right now is 122 degrees Fahrenheit. It looks like there is a timer set for 10 seconds. So maybe that's for the first project. We'll see. 
So we'll see. It's close to getting to our 122 Fahrenheit. So this is where I can change right here the target temperature. I can increase it if I want. I can say we're going all the way up to, you know, 130, 150, just a simple touch of the button there. And then, you know, I might want to press it for 15 seconds. I don't know. That's what I have to learn. We'll learn together, right? Okay, so it does look like it is almost at our temperature. It said it's 149, our target is 150. So there's actually a bolt on the top of this that's for transportation purposes. So we're gonna unscrew that and you can already see it's releasing some of the pressure on there. So that you don't need. I'm gonna set it aside. I, you know, if I transport it, then um, maybe I should have that too, right? So you can see it can open up now. Whoa. So it is, oh actually smells good. You know, like that smell of just new. Uh, so it's 150 degrees. So I got to be really careful. But remember, one of the key safety features that really excites me is that it's a pull out. So I can pull this out and I can place my item here. And I don't have to have my hands or arms underneath the hot 150 degree platen, right? So that is huge as far as a safety feature for someone like me that is prone to just doing whatever when it comes to hurting myself, right? So it slides in. Very simply, you can just feel how easy that is. Boom. And then when it's time to go, we're going to just put it down. And it's counting down immediately. So it's counting down from 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You hear it beeping and popping open. So you see it released the pressure. Did you see the handle, how it did that? That is awesome. And then you can just pull it back out, remove your item, and move on to your next project. Like, really, guys? That is amazing. So let's kind of do that again. I'm going to lower the time. We're going to say that we're literally only putting it in there for five seconds, right? We're gonna lower it. You really don't have to exert much pressure. Three, two, one. Did you see how that popped up? And then we pull it out. You guys, the projects that I have on my to-do list right now, I mean, seriously, are endless. I am so excited. I'm so excited to bring this to you guys. I'm so excited to level up my own business with getting a new piece of equipment. Because like I said, you guys, I do embroidery, but there are ways to level up what I do, things that I can add, some really quick projects, really simple ways to embellish things that I already make, that I already sell, and then give completely new meaning to different things such as sports shirts, game shirts, um, sport. I mean, I, I keep saying sports because again, it kind of goes back to my boys and all the things that I know will be fitting for them. I will say for my kids that are aging up, you know, my son is already, you know, 5'10", 13 year old. He doesn't really wear embroidery. No, he doesn't wear it at all. Honestly, neither does my 11 year old and my seven year old will just only if it's something cool like a skeleton that glows in the dark, right? So I know this is going to be something that I use in my own personal life for my own kids moving forward. Different things that we can personalize. It could just be their basketball team. I can be that mom. I can volunteer to make our basketball shirts. So how fun that we are now going to be able to add something to our business. I'm excited to share it with you. I'm excited to learn with you. You guys teach me. We'll learn it together and just be on the lookout for some really fun videos coming soon. Thank you, Rakoma. This is amazing. I have honestly been so excited. I will say I was intimidated at first. Heat. I was intimidated by how big that box was. What I was most intimidated was this Rakoma heat press, the HP 1515FT. How busy this is going to make me moving forward. I'm excited. I look forward to it. Happy heat press.